since measurement taken for men's wear, start by locating the waistline. To do this, we're going to tie a cord, an elastic cord, around the waistline. Now we're measuring the chest. And then the neck circumference. Measure at the base of the neckline. Now we'll measure the across chest and the across back. Then the shoulder line from the side neck point to the shoulder point. We'll measure the front shoulder now from shoulder point to shoulder point. And the back shoulder from shoulder point over the curve of the shoulder to shoulder point. Measure the center front neckline from the hollow of the neck to the cord on the waist. We are using the cord on the waist to locate all measurements that start or end at the waist. Now measure the full front length from neck point to the cord on the waist. Nape to waist measurement is from the base of the neck at the back to the waistline. Now we measure the full back length from the side neck point to the waistline. Shoulder slant. We're measuring the front shoulder slant. That is from shoulder point to the waist. And from the back, we measure the back shoulder slant from the same point down to the waistline. Now we measure the waist circumference. Take an exact measurement. Lower abdomen is midway between the waist and the hip. Take this measurement. Helps you understand if there's a tummy to, for you to, to take into consideration when you're making clothes. Take the hip circumference. Now take side length. Sideways to knee, sideways to ankle, then sideways to floor. Take all of them at the same time. Now measure the center front length from the center front waist point down to the floor. Center back length is from center back waist length, waist point, excuse me, to the floor. Now take the body rise, take the knee circumference and the ankle circumference. Take the sleeve measurement from the shoulder point to the elbow and then to the wrist bone. Measure the bicep and the wrist circumference.